Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. Yesterday at the end of the vlog, I mentioned uh, something along the lines of uh, how we were gonna be talking today about fixing our schedule. Um, many months, year ago, we introduced a block scheduling system, which was basically just times written on a whiteboard to remind us to do certain things at certain times. It was actually very helpful because up until that point, we just kind of, you know, woke up and then worked. And then at some point we just didn't work. And you'd be surprised at how not good that is um, for a lot of reasons, for your mental health amongst other things. But um, it's really helpful to have, uh, honestly, uh, above anything else, probably mandatory breaks um, to actually know and look forward to in parts of the day where you're going to take a moment to rest. And resting is very important. Taking breaks is very important. I'm a workaholic and I know that, textbook definition, but... <laughs> And you can work straight. You can say, I'm going to work, and you will work. Yeah, but it's bad. It's, it's soul-crushing to just be like, I only work today. Well, it, it's soul-crushing, but also I don't think it's truly more productive than taking a break. So that's why that block scheduling thing was really good. But it's been some time. We've fallen away from that a little bit anyway. And then add on top of that, going to Japan, coming back, being jet-lagged, now having to go to Wisconsin, then going to TRG Coliseum, which completely screwed up our sleep schedule, and then immediately having to move. And we've still been in this, you know, unpacking phase, and we've never really fixed things. So Mal and I had a long talk the other night and decided that it was time to fix things. And August is Fix Your Life Month. Not officially, it's just, you know, for us. So Mallory took it upon herself without any input from me because I trusted her, not because she <laughs> went behind my back. Because there would be no breaks. <laughs> what? Lies. Mallory took it upon herself to develop a new block system, and she researched online what other people who were working from home were doing, and she got some pretty interesting ideas and it's actually much more detailed than we've ever had before and keep in mind we've done this for one day today was the first day that we've done this and there's a chance that things could change but this has already helped us a lot today and we're going to try and our we're going to try and do our best to stick to this to see how it does and i'm going to show you the schedule quick and uh, again, this is subject to change. These are different days because different things happen on different days. When Mallory was making this, she had to design it around things that are already happening. So you'll see the breakfast stream is there. That's the dark red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then on Wednesdays, we have a big old block for lunch bunch. You might be saying, that's a big block for lunch bunch. Well, lunch bunch typically is actually like three hours long. There's, uh, there's a lot of days where we don't finish up until at least 2.30 and usually 3. I think the reason for that is, for us certainly, but I think for like, to some extent everybody, it's our only social time in the entire week. So, of course, if that's the only social interaction you're gonna get in one week, you're gonna probably be there a while. Um, but anyway, uh, Mal, Mal found a, a bunch of interesting information um, and we tried to adhere to it the best we could today. So we got up in the morning, uh, today was breakfast stream, so we did our we yes. did our breakfast stream, and then afterwards there is a a morning commute, which sounds ridiculous because we work from home, but the logic behind it is that if you were in a normal job, you would have a commute, and would, mm -hmm. it would be a time for you to kind of clear your head, either you're driving or you're commuting on, on commuting in, in subway mm -hmm. in some way some way on the subway, uh, and. It was a time of reflection and peace and kind of preparing for the day. So we did that. And it was it was interesting because like it's it's a time where you can do breathing exercises or meditate or journaling or things like that. Mm -hmm. And it's a helpful way to kind of like calm yourself before you jump into the thick of it. Cause I'm not good at that. I like I wake up and I can I am I'm someone who can jump out of bed, put on my clothes and be like, work. And having a moment where you just kind of like, all right, you just kind of calm yourself is interesting. I mean, today it was after breakfast stream where I was like already like, you know, on and ready, but still I like the idea. Yeah. Uh, then there's a, there's actually a dedicated half hour block for administration tasks because um, I don't respond to emails. Like once a month, I go through and deal with my emails, and I shouldn't do that. So I'm going to try and get better at that and keep on top of that 
because, like I keep track of sales because yeah, you well you I have more to too. track. Yeah, you have more to track than yeah. I do. Um, but that's happening in the morning. Then we go to the traditional work blocks that we've had in the past. Just a chunk of time dedicated to doing you know hardcore work. You're supposed work. to do your hardest, least fun thing on work block one. Because you're like most prepared. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, then you have a one hour lunch, and lunch may not go for an entire hour, but Mal decided to block us in an entire hour to just relax, take a break. Yeah. Uh, then you go into work block two. Then the most interesting thing of the schedule is tea time. It's literally written as tea time. And today when we did it, we actually had tea. But it was nice. And, and the, the reason I, I, I like it so much is it harkens back to that earlier schedule where if you have a dedicated break, where you're not like, oh, I need a break. It's, no, there's a break coming. I, f I really feel like that helps mentally. And um, I haven't done that in a while. So having something on the schedule that's like, hey, at 3.30 p.m., you're going to take a half-hour break, and you're just going to chill with your wife and have some tea. We did that today. And it, f it felt pretty dang great, I got to admit. Um, having a dedicated tea time was nice. Forcing yourself to take a break is nice. Uh, so we did, and it was wonderful. Uh, then back to work for a few hours. Uh, evening administration, which for me won't exist. I'm just going to keep well, doing Well, I thing. used that time to make a to-do list. Sure. Things we need to get done. That's, I mean, that's fair. And then the evening commute is, is unwinding, same thing. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. Mallory made this, mm -hmm. and this is, this is real good for Mal. This is probably going to be altered a little bit for me, because I like the idea of dedicated breaks. The... Having multiple things for admin or commute, I probably won't take advantage of. But the breaks are good. Forcing myself into a break is good. Uh, then there's dinner. Then there's alt block. Alt block is at the end of the day, and that can be swapped in with an earlier work block if we need to, because we might have a doctor's appointment or something like that, and we have to swap them in. Um, or if we actually genuinely have that time at the end of the day, then that is you know free time. Again, there's a good chance I may spend it working on stuff, but, you know, I don't have to. I don't have to. Um, and hopefully you will not at some point. And hopefully at some point I will not. Now, the most important part of the schedule, and if you don't make a block schedule, that's fine. The most important part of anything is making sure you go to bed at the same time every night. You don't have to go to bed early. You don't have to go to bed late. You don't have to... There's not like a magical time, in my opinion, but you have to go to bed at the same time. And lately we haven't been great at that. So that is like the backbone of this entire thing is making sure that you're in bed by midnight and waking up by eight. That's what we're attempting to do. So that's what we're going to do our absolute best to try and adhere to in August. And there's going to be times it may be difficult, um, but we're, we're going to do our best. And uh, every day is largely the same. There's some tweaks uh, with the big difference being that Sunday is our day off. We have not been taking Sundays off and we're going to try. We're really going to try. I have a thing for Sundays, too. You haven't seen it yet. No. But I <laughs> You'll don't know see what... it later. It's <laughs> scary. Anyway, so that is our new schedule. And we, um, again, I don't want to put, like, too much emphasis or anything on it yet because we've done it for one day. Today was the first day that we tried this, and I didn't want to talk about it to the end of the day so I could give kind of like an idea of how it went and it went pretty good Mal specifically really yeah. enjoyed it and you felt like it really helped you it got to dinner time and I was like I felt like I you know got home from work so even though I had to work after dinner today because because there was still stuff there was still some stuff I had to do and we're, we're gonna see we're gonna see after a week or two how effective this is um, how it's affecting productivity things of that nature, because that's what I'm really curious about. Um, but also, you know, again, burnout is real. You can't work yourself to death. And I've been... I've been trying. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying. I've been trying lately. And it's like, all right, we should probably make sure that, you know, we, we are attempting to fix this a little bit. So we're going to work on it. And that, uh, that, was, that was our August 1st, and it was good. Speaking of August 1st, can't believe it's August. Uh, because it's the beginning of the month, a special shout out to our patrons. Patreon.com slash Stephen George or Mount Makes. The names of the producers are scrolling along at the bottom of the screen now. 
Thank you all so much. We sincerely appreciate your help. Um, there's been uh, there's been some changes on YouTube actually lately, which has made. And there's, like, changes on YouTube all the time where I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. But uh, especially lately, there's been a few things that uh, has made me even more thankful for Patreon. Um, when those changes are all in effect, I'll be sure to talk about them and, and inform everybody. But for now, just know that uh, patrons are very uh, helpful and loved and appreciated. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. Um, uh, otherwise, YouTube, you do you. We'll just hold on, just hold on for the ride. Uh, so the block scheduling is exciting. Uh, again, there's a lot of little details in there that that I don't really need, won't have to take advantage of. Um, you should I might? The most exciting thing for me is 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 the breaks. Like having something on a list that's like, hey, take a break, do it now, do it at the exact same time as Mao, so you can like see each other and enjoy, <laughs> enjoy each other's company. Not in the same room anymore, well, I, I've talked about it a little bit before, but that actually has made a big difference. It's Saturn. <laughs> I probably, I probably get a little bit more done now, but still it's Saturn because up to this point for the past few years, past few, all the years, <laughs> this is literally the first time ever we haven't worked in the same room. Like I, I understand you that. You can't talk to me anymore. I know. Like when Mouse when Mao was painting, that was one thing. But yeah. whenever she was on the computer, we, our computers were in the same room, and now they're not. And it's just different. Not bad, but different. In a bad way. Anyway. Ow. Are we on our final Kit Kat challenge? Final Kit Kat. Unless <laughs> we get more. Which is, yeah, it's... The Kit Kat challenge really never ends. It's just on pause yeah. until... We get more. Um, until we get another one we haven't tried, or Kit Kat makes a new one. And this is the one that we were both really excited about. Yeah. This is, um, what's it, the official name of it? Espresso Bix... Good try. Espresso Biscuit and Ganache. And it's dark chocolate. And it probably... Oh, it, smel it smells like espresso. Mm -hmm. Which is good. That's a good problem. Oh, you don't like that. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Man. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's got... So... That tastes exactly like you think it tastes. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe that. Mm-hmm. For everyone watching at home, think about that word, espresso. And the um, the dark smell, chocolate. dark chocolate espresso, and think about what that invokes, and that is exactly what that tastes like. Now, I've had the same problem with the last two. This is a, it's like a thicker chocolate on the Kit Kat, and I don't know how I feel about that really. Um, because when you add all that chocolate, you don't even get the wafers. It kind of loses its effect of being a Kit Kat a little bit, but the flavor's great. That's a really, really good Kit Kat. Mmm. Now I just want to drink coffee. No coffee. It's too late for coffee. It's not too late for coffee. It's cold. Coffee would be good. You gotta make up your mind. You shouldn't be mixed messages. It's too late, but wait, it's cold. You should have some coffee. Anyway. That is it for today. Currently on schedule. Gonna go to bed. And um, again, the most important thing is getting up at the same time. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm really curious to find out if anyone else does this. Obviously, it's very beneficial working from home, you know, doing this sort of thing. Um, but maybe you have a block schedule even otherwise in your life. Maybe it helps you do certain things. I know in the past I really benefited specifically from the, the forced break taking, and I'm looking forward to getting back on a schedule that I hope will have some sort of positive effect on both of our lives, so. We'll keep talking about it. We're going to keep doing it in August and keep periodically checking in and talking about how it's going. Fingers crossed it's going to make a big difference. And we'll find out. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?